Welcome in this video where we'll see how simple it is to sign up and get covered with Safety Wing uh, Nomad Insurance. That is a travel medical insurance that covers you for extended travel all over the world while outside your home country. So if you just click the link in the description, you will uh, see what it is all about, their products, and today we'll check the Nomad Insurance. The Nomad Insurance starts at $56.28 for four weeks for ages 18 to 39, so per period of 28 days it costs $56. If you scroll down, you can see that you can buy it while you are already abroad, it is a global coverage, and also a simple uh, claims process, this we'll see in another video, with 24-7 human support. And of course you can have more details, you can check the pricing with their calculator, you can see uh, the detail of what's covered, and much more. But for now, let's just see how, how fast and simple it is to sign up and get covered as a uh, nomad or as a traveler that has already uh, departed and uh, or is going to another country. So start by simply uh, putting your email, yep. let's say this one, set up a password, continue. Oh, there is already, so, yep. okay, then you need to input your name, your date of birth, for example, 28th July uh, year uh, 1991, and sign up for a product releases. Okay, then enter your country info, for example, in my case, my citizenship, so the, uh, the one written my passport, let's say, is French, but my home country, where I reside principally and receive regular mail, is uh, in another country. For example, uh, let's say it is in um, in um, in Poland. So let's find the country, or you can also type in some letters. Okay, that's the country. Now we need to input a mailing address. Uh, so up Main Street, Poland. Okay. Okay. Let's just put any address. That's uh, the address, you can uh, look for it or input it manually, and then you can easily sign up. Now, they will get you insured with very simple steps. So first of all, you have to enter the coverage start date. It can be uh, right now, especially if you are already traveling, or it can be another date in the future, and you can pay you upfront if you already know when you are coming back. But let's say what you don't know, so, which is the standard case, and it will auto extend every four weeks or 28 days to be precise until you stop it. And you can continuously travel around the world for up to 364 days. The standard um, coverage costs $56. Oops. You can add an extra US coverage if you travel to the US, so for $50 per month. You can add adventure sports if you do extreme sports such as skydiving, uh, hang gliding and more uh, for $10 a month. You can add electronics theft coverage uh, also for $10 a month. I will leave this one. And uh, that's all. Then you uh, can continue. You can check here what is included. If you want details, you can uh, click on the, on the different benefits and see uh, full details on what's covered or, or not. So you are covered in your home country for 30 days, every 90 days, so that it's a little um, uh, tricky, but you can uh, read the details. You are covered for driving accidents, for lost check luggage, and more. Now, let's continue. All you have to do is then is to enter your phone number. Let's say this is my phone number. Okay, put the sex listed on your passport. In my case, it's mail, and you have to input the name of someone else in case something happens to you, and they will uh, be the beneficiary of your policy then you need to add your trip's destination. Uh, why? Actually, they only need the first destination, but it's better to add them all in case you need a visa, um, a visa letter, for example. So you can select them in the list, or you can simply click on them on the map. For example, let's say I want to go to uh, Mexico, then to Ecuador, then I will go to Indonesia, and I will have a short uh, trip in North Korea, and then I will go through Kazakhstan, and come back to uh, Turkey. So in gray, you can see the countries that are not covered. So if you uh, travel to these countries, you will not be covered. So such as uh, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, and more. And then I will go to Romania, let's say. So once you have added your countries, 
continue. You can add group, group members if you are traveling with other people. If you are traveling with uh, children, it's uh, even uh, different. Uh, so uh, any extra um, travel companion will uh, have the same policy. And uh, children up to 10 years of age um, are, uh, well, free, uh, no extra cost. Then, let's say I'm going solo. Uh, this is a short summary of all I've input. So max limit uh, is $250,000, coverage start, uh, the countries, the add-ons, my information. And then move to payments for $66.28 a month, which can be cancelled anytime and is auto-renewed every four weeks and can be again purchased even after having already departed your home country. Now move to payment. Here enter your card information, name on the card, CCB, expiry date, uh, billing address, and here we go. Purchase policy here. Can I? Okay, okay. Purchase the policy. Ah. The, there are some invalid characters, so if your address has some funny characters, like it is the case uh, here with this address in Poland, remove the special characters for standard ones. Anyway, it will still uh, arrive, but uh, yeah. Now let's purchase the policy. Wait a little for the system to think, and here we go. We are covered for travel. Here we have a um, travel uh, card uh, policy insurance uh, that you can, for example, print and keep with you or share with your um, uh, with someone uh, close to you so they know what's happening, what's up, and that's all. So it took us uh, what it took us uh, five minutes, five minutes to uh, be covered by a nomad insurance policy that works for any traveler even after they already left their home country. We can have a quick look at the dashboard. Um, and on the dashboard, we can see that our coverage uh, has already started. Next payment is on uh, 5th August, so 28 days from now. So it's not a full month, it's 28 uh, days, calendar days, yeah, four weeks. And it will auto renew uh, every 28 days. Now, don't hesitate to uh, trade for yourself, have a look, and um, enjoy your travels. A link is, uh, is in the description, and let us know how, uh, how much you like this amazing um, Nomad Insurance in travel video, insurance. We'll have a look at the Nomad uh, Insurance dashboard from Safety Wing and all the amazing functionalities you have there. Link is, is in the description, and uh, Safety Wing's Nomad Insurance is a travel insurance that you can contract even after you've already started traveling and left your home country uh, and it is auto renewed every four weeks or 28 days uh, unless you stop it by simply clicking here on stop my policy. So for example, here I have a, this policy uh, ID uh, subscription. We can read the full policy. Yep, let's have a look. So here we have all the details of it. We will not read it uh, right uh, now. Uh, but uh, you can have all details, what is covered, what you can do with it or not, and uh, what's, uh, what's happening. Although we have detail about the add-ons. Um, yeah, like this, we have this add-on. Um, okay, anyway, you have all the details if you like. But here, uh, let's have a look at the dashboard. So we have the start date of our policy, the current end date. So um, actually it will auto-renew uh, on uh, 5th of uh, August. Uh, to extend this uh, this policy of for 28 more days unless we click on stop my policy we can update the payment details here we have our insurance card that you, we can easily print with emergency contacts out inside the us outside the us uh, reimbursement of claims urgent inquiries and for example we can uh, print our insurance card to uh, have it at hand uh, put it uh, for example in our bag with our laptop in our wallet um, anything to uh, be able to use it. Okay. Then you can also submit a claim. We will see that in another video. Um, and you can generate a visa letter, which we will also see in an, another video. Uh, it can be uh, useful uh, when traveling and you need um, uh, an insurance coverage, the proof of insurance coverage to get a visa. And we can stop the policy. We will do that right after. So, 
Here we have the add-ons we've taken. So we've taken, oh, we've taken Electronics Safe, not Adventure Sports. And we are covered uh, for some extra. And uh, these others are not uh, covered. And you can add or remove coverage at any time. Uh, simply contact the customer care. Now, here we can see what's included. Everything we have, so it's a lot to read, we'll not see it in detail. The policy uh, globally is up to $250,000. It covers travel medical, emergency evacuation, home country coverage, sports and activities, driving accidents, lost check luggage, travel delay, trip interruption, emergency dental, and repatriation of remains. So it's a lot of things. And uh, we also have a beneficiary in case uh, something happens. This is the person that uh, will be uh, contacted or can actually contact them to um, get uh, details of this insurance. Then we can see our claims. So here I'm just having a look, but we don't have claims yet. So we have nothing here. Going back to our dashboard, we can always have access to our billings and receipts. So these are the, uh, the receipts of our, the receipt of our current subscription. We can print or save it here with all the details. We have the policy detail and the same we can print it if necessary. And this is for the receipt, but here we have the, the details. And we have the uh, list of payments. Again, we can edit our payment info in case we need to change the um, payment card uh, for any reason if something happened. Also an interesting functionality you can invite friends and uh, by inviting friends for every friend you invite you will give them a 20 dollars uh, discount on their um, on their policy and you earn 20 dollars uh, a cent so all you have to do is to uh, actually wait 28 days so it's um, not uh, at the beginning that you get it but after one month you can get your referral link and share it with your friend and save money and help your friends save money so the dashboard is very simple, uh, useful, easy to use. And whenever you stop traveling or you don't like it for some reason or whatever, you can just click here on stop my policy. And of course the policy, uh, so you will be covered up to the last day of your current billing period, in our case, 8th of August. And, uh, yeah, and that's all, just you will not be charged again. So simply click on stop my policy. If you have stopped your policy, um, and for some reason you decide to keep traveling, you can always resume your policy. And so if you do it before this time, you can resume it. If you do it after that date, you will have to get a new policy. So we, it will not be an extension. It will start a, a new policy, a different policy, which in some cases might be a problematic or not, because a new policy will not cover um, any, um, any illness or injury that started uh, before you contracted it. So if something happens during this policy and you don't extend the policy, whatever happened to you during this policy will not be covered uh, after by the next policy. And in any case, it's all very simple. Just click on resume policy. And with one click, you resume your policy. So very simple, useful dashboard, uh, self-explanatory and uh, full of functionalities. Now, the link is in the description if you are a digital nomad or a traveler that uh, needs to be covered for uh, any travel even after already being outside your home country uh, safety wing is probably the travel insurance we'll you see want. today how to uh, claim uh, set up an insurance claim with a safety wing nomad insurance and if you haven't contracted yet uh, an insurance the link is in the description and in previous videos we showed how to uh, simply create an account and get um, coverage uh, in uh, less than five minutes. So once you have your uh, insurance policy and you need to claim, all you have to do is to log in on their website, go to your dashboard here, and either here click on uh, claims to have the list of existing claims. And if you have a new claim, uh, directly here, click on submit a claim. We'll see how simple and fast it is. Now, Click on what benefit you are claiming for. Is it medical or non-medical? In our case, for example, it is medical. Now you have to uh, claim your, your uh, enter the details of your claim. So the first date of service uh, in which uh, country did the medical claim happen. For example, uh, let's say I was in uh, Ghana in a city. Actually, I, uh, I don't know a city in Ghana. So let's select something else. Take another one. 
let's say for example i broke uh i broke my uh, leg in uh in thailand okay in bangkok i broke my leg and the uh, currency of the bill uh, we have in us dollar so we can also enter another currency if it is in another currency for example let's say it is in thai bat because they will probably not give um, an invoice to the local currency and let's say it was uh, 10,000 Thai bats. All we have to do then continue. Now, is the medical condition we are making a claim for currently to a past health issue, yes or no? If we put yes, of course, we'll not be able to uh, claim money because uh, it's not covered by this policy. So in our case, no, we just broke our leg. Tell them what happened, I broke my leg. Next. And uh, do the scenarios apply to you? Have you made a, uh, did we make a claim uh, somewhere else? Yes or no? Uh, are we, do we have another uh, insurance policy? Blah, blah, blah. In our case, no, we only have this. Now, our passport number. So it's ABC, one, two, three, four, ABC. And here we go. Now, we have to tell them in the currency in which we would like to be reimbursed, the bank name, the country, so, for example, uh, our country uh, can be, can be, can be, can be Poland. Okay, the bank name is uh, Bank of Poland. The account holder is Jean-Michel. The bank code is uh, BOPXXX. The city is Warsaw. And the IBAN account number is PL1234. And that's all. And uh, they only support one bank account at a time. So if you already have a bank account entered, you cannot enter another one. Now, let's continue. Okay, we need to upload a copy of the uh, medical receipt. So in our case, poof, let's put a random, uh, random uh, screenshot, but you should, of course, enter everything you have, all the documentation you have, so medical reports, invoice receipts, referral notes, last scan result, prescription, everything you have. Now, continue, and that's all. Here you have a small uh, summary of what happened. We need to confirm the information is true, to authorize there to share information, and to authorize to uh, disclose uh, process info. And submit, that's all. Now our claim is uh, created and uh, we will be uh, updated by email. We can also on the dashboard go to our claims list and here we easily see all our claims uh, and what's the status. If they are submitted, if they are accepted, if they are reimbursed, uh, we will see notes if uh, anything happens, the type of claim uh, and that is currently under process. So simple and efficient and to uh, for all your uh, possible medical claims, use safety wing. Uh, link is in the description and uh, again it is a very simple process only a few minutes uh, it's very easy to uh, get covered even after you have started traveling and left your home country and uh, as you saw the whole process is smooth and efficient so uh, good luck with your travels and uh, get covered with a uh, nomad we'll today from how to wing. claim for non-medical uh, uh, coverage insurance coverage with safety wing nomad insurance. In previous videos, we've shown how simple it is to uh, set up an account, uh, get covered even after you've started traveling, even if you've already left your home country. So if you haven't done it, uh, the link is in the description to uh, get covered. And we'll see now how easy it is. On your dashboard, once you're logged in, all you have to do is submit a claim. So here we go to submit a claim, select if it's medical, non-medical, we'll see now how to submit a non-medical claim so for something like a concert flight, stolen electronics, or natural disaster evacuation. Continue. Now we have to select the date of event. Here we can only select one day because our policy starts today, so we cannot claim for something that happened before. The policy covers us, of course, in which country, for example, in Thailand. Up. In uh, Bangkok, we had our non-medical issue and how much we claim, how much was the uh, invoice uh, uh, covered on the bill. For example, US dollars, but you can also select the currency such as uh, Thai bats in Thailand. Let's say it was for 10,000 Thai bats. 
Now all we have to do is go next and simply describe what happened. So whatever it is, if your flight was uh, cancelled, you lost your luggage, there was a natural disaster, uh, you, um, you know, depending on your add-ons, uh, for example, um, you got an electronic theft, all you have to do is to enter the description here. So for example, my uh, laptop uh, stolen in the street. So of course you should probably uh, go with more explanations. This is just an example. Now save and next. Uh, tell them if the um, um, if you've already claimed somewhere else, if you have other insurance policies for this, and uh, enter more information if that's the case. So that's not our case. Go next, then we have to enter our passport number. So it's ABC123123 ABC. And enter the bank account on which you would like uh, to be uh, reimbursed, uh, the currency you use, for example, US dollars, but can be anything, and the details. So here I have already entered my details. If it's not the case, you have to fill everything manually. And then upload your documents. So invoice receipts, reports from police or from airline, proof of ownership of uh, items you're claiming. And of course, we can always contact them if we are unsure about the documentation we need. Let's upload, for example, this is a proof of uh, losing uh, my laptop. And here we have the summary, Ch double check that everything is okay, confirm that information is true, authorize them to share information, and authorize Safety Wing to collect um, everything related to the claim. And that's it. You all set, so it took us it took us less than three minutes to set up a claim. Uh, of course, if you have more information to enter, it can take longer, but the process itself is very fast. Make sure you have everything uh, clear, clearly explained, a clear explanation of what, what happened, uh, your documents, uh, very important, of course, uh, all the documents related to the claim, so uh, what happened, how much it cost, uh, any, uh, any report, any... Uh, uh, maybe email you might have gotten, any, um, any, any proof official, uh, eventually stamped and signed when it's uh, official, such as the police report. And that's all. Then we can go to check claim status. And here in our claims list, uh, let them load. Not loading today, if not loading, ah, just the system is slow today. But here you will uh, see in the dashboard uh, claim list, the list of existing claim. And you can, of course, always create a new claim for any reason. Oh, okay, so we are back here. If we go to the claims list, and let it load. Does it want to load today? No, today it doesn't want to load. <laughs> ah, I have been, I have been uh, unlocked, so. To small issue, I have been disconnected. Ah, I also always have troubles with my connection. So if we go to claims, here we have the list of our claims. So this is the claim we've just, oops, this one is the claim we've just created for a travel related uh, issue. And the status is currently submitted. We will be notified when it's accepted, when it's reimbursed, or if not, we'll know why. Here we have a claim number. We will be able to view notes once uh, they will be available, and we can always submit new claims. So very simple process, very uh, efficient. Again, uh, you can get a safety wing nomad insurance coverage even after you've left your home country. Link is in the description. Uh, process is very simple, very efficient. And um, it covers any digital nomad traveling, but also just a simple uh, traveler. But usually, uh, travelers uh, um, uh, will not maybe not uh, travel more than uh, four weeks. They will uh, go for shorter uh, travels. But for digital nomads that don't know where they go, which, which country they will be in the next month, how long they will travel, this is the most comprehensive insurance. The process is very simple to claim uh, anything if in case something happens. And uh, you can see, for example, when a claim is uh, going forward, here you have the progress bar progressing. So very simple. Uh, try safety wing list. Uh, link is in the description. If you and ever now, how try you to like make it? a visa application, you might need um, an insurance policy confirmation. If you uh, are not sure what it is, how to get one, it's very simple with safety wing nomad insurance. 
Link is in the description. You can even get it after you've left your home country when you are already traveling to visit any embassy in the world. So, uh, if you haven't created an account yet, we've covered uh, in previous video how to simply create an account in a few minutes, get uh, an insurance coverage for travel, especially for digital nomads, but for any, uh, any uh, traveler that don't know where he will go, how long he will travel, the um, uh, insurance automatically renew every 28 days, very simple. And whenever you need a visa letter, if you've entered the countries in which you are traveling, you can simply click on uh, so uh, on your dashboard. All you have to do is click on generate visa letter. If you are missing a destination, simply add the country to the list. And if you need the passport number on your visa letter, uh, enter it here, for example, ABC123123, ABC in our case, and click on generate visa letter. It's that simple. In one minute, you have a confirmation of coverage for your visa for this country. So, of course, when you apply for a visa to one specific country, it must be listed here in the list of countries. You have your details, your name, um, your birth date, your passport number, the countries where you are traveling, your coverage, the policy number, the dates of this policy. Um, uh, and uh, here the policy maximum, trip interruption, medical expenses, emergency medical evacuation, emergency family reunion, repatriation of remains, and it includes hospitalization, COVID-19, and outpatient. So it's very simple. Uh, nomad insurance satisfies Schengen visa health insurance requirements. COVID-19 covered same as any other illness will be above medical maximum. And you got your confirmation of coverage uh, in a few minutes. So it takes uh, five minutes to uh, get covered by uh, Nomad Insurance, then one minute uh, to uh, get a confirmation of coverage visa letter to visit any embassy you need to get a visa, uh, for example, Schengen visa, for example, a visa to Mexico, to Ecuador, to Indonesia, but to any country in the world. If you need confirmation of coverage, uh, try Safety Wings Nomad Insurance. Link is in the description and uh, let us know how useful it was for you and are where you, you are traveling example, next. a digital nomad and do you need to get covered uh, even in your home country or to be, once you change your home country to be covered in that country while you are not traveling anymore but you are uh, officially residing there then Safety Wing uh, Nomad Health is the solution for you. We've covered in a previous video how to register for nomad insurance and when you have created an account on uh, Safety Wing Nomad Insurance, you can click here in Get Nomad Health to get medical insurance in your country of residence. For example, let's say I will spend most uh, of uh, time while insured in, uh, in Thailand. For example, we are digital nomad that decided to stay in Thailand and we don't need any more travel insurance, but we need a real insurance as we will be staying there. Simply confirm and apply. Then you can select your plan. There are two plans. You can choose to pay monthly and get a 10 or get a 10% discount if you go with annual payment. Uh, ch uh, choose the desired start date. So the start date is the 1st or 15th of uh, any month. And it's in the future. So you have to do it a little in advance or um, at least know that you will not be covered until the, it starts. So for example, uh, today uh, we are uh, in, uh, in July and we will only be covered from 1st August. So we have two choices, the standard at $133 per month or the premium at $208 per month. They both have a worldwide coverage up to $1.5 million, outpatient of $5,000. With standard we pay 10%, with premium it's uh, all included. Um, with a premium, we have a dental coverage up to $1,500, vision coverage up to $500. With both of them, we have screening and vaccines, but with standard up to $350 and with premium up to $500. We also have maternity coverage, $2,500 with standard, and we pay 20% with 10 months waiting period. Uh, with premium, it's the same. Uh, we also pay 20% and have 10 months waiting period, but we have $4,500 for maternity. Now, we can also read the full policy. And if you want to know all details, you can, of course, have a look at the whole policy and see uh, all details about it. But in our case, we'll continue with Premium, the most comprehensive uh, Nomad Health Insurance policy. Simply click on Continue, then you can add family members. Always change the start date, change the plan, the plan if you want to. 
and then you need to enter your personal details such as your uh, phone number for example uh, one two three one two three two three if you, uh, your gender if you are male or female uh, as written on your passport and in my case i am solo but if you have family member you can here uh, add family members children under 19 ch children 1924 and spouse uh, partner at the same address uh, up to uh, three uh, dependents and for more you need to contact them but it's also possible then add uh, who they are uh, the, uh, citizenship email etc but in my case, I am solo for this uh, simple test. Then they need medical information about health and medical history. And uh, well, you want to go to up. So uh, this we cannot see because uh, it is a test system, but then you have a medical history form. And once it's uh, done, you will be uh, insured medically by Nomad Health to uh, stay uh, wherever you are. And it's that simple, in only a few minutes, you can uh, get covered with medical insurance in any country in the world, the country where you will be residing, spending the most time um, um, as per legal, legal requirements. So it's very simple, efficient. So try Nomad Health from Safety Wing. Link is in the description. And let us know where you are going next, where you are settling, and how useful this insurance has been for you. Good luck with your travel.